Hola, muy buenas a todos chicas y chicos, aquí estamos de vuelta con Terminator Resistencia, así es Parte número 9 Encontramos la resistencia, tenemos armas de plasma y... Look, look, Ryan fixed it, Ryan fixed the bus That's great news, did you help? No, I was there and helping Mark, he's doing much better now I hear that you fixed the bus. Yeah, finally. What about you? Did you meet the resistance? Yeah, finally. A ver, ¿con quién tenemos que hablar? No tenemos que hablar I'll con talk to Aaron. I heard about Mark. What happened? It was a close call, but he's on the mend now. And I have to thank you for that. So, thank you. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something, Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off, I must say. About that camp. What do you want to know? What work did you do there? Most of the time, I moved bodies for disposal. Sometimes their skin would be peeled off. Oh, it was horrific. Why would machines ever do that? My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder. So I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that... After the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. 
They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. You never told me you had a husband. <laughs> you never asked. Was he at that camp with you? He was. Sweet little man. I had to take care of him when they sent us to work, because he was so fragile. Back at the camp, I used to think that the machines kept Peter alive to get me to cooperate. So when there was an opportunity to run, we had to take it. And we did. We ran with this little child that I had started to love. I felt that she was mine. What was her name? Her name was Taylor. Peter said it sounded too manly, so I said, good. We'll finally have a man in the family. But as you know nowadays, no story has a happy ending. She died shortly after. We buried her, and we stopped talking to each other. Eventually, the Annihilation Line caught up with us. We got separated. I ran away. He did too. At least, I hope he did. That's all. Al hijo de Colin. Bueno, eh, vamos a ir a ver el, el hijo de Colin. Eh, ahora entendemos un poco más por qué ella es tan secota y mala onda. Como realmente ha tenido que pasar por muchas cosas. Vamos a hablar con ella. Moving out. I am. Do you need anything from Pasadena? No. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. There's nothing that I need from there. Bueno. And I see you got that bus running again. You didn't think I would, did you? Well, don't wrap me off just yet. I still got it. Anyhow, I got something for you. Cuchillo de determinación. Con el cuchillo de determinación equipado. Uh -huh. Estoy quedando del ratón cuando aparezca un indicador de interacción en la espalda. Ajá, volver. Es un arma de un solo uso. Bueno. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a terminator with a single stab. So if you sneak in and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates, terminates. Supongo que si nos dan el cuchillo es porque vamos a tener que usarlo. Where did you get that? A group of travelers came by earlier. We traded, talked for a while. Actually, they said something that got my attention. Something about meeting a guy out there who kept asking about Jacob Rivers. He said it didn't seem right. You don't think it's that thing that you told us about before, do you? Sorry, I probably should have said something right away. Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right, I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. You have a brother. <coughs> bueno, esto ya no lo dijo antes. Well, the brother. Well, he was a ladies man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Wow. 
him. I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. What was it? Took me a while to understand what I was looking at. The atomic mushroom cloud wasn't something we were ever supposed to see. In my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was a uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. I finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. Bueno. Vámonos. A ver qué quiere el pendejillo. Going to Pasadena? Yep, I am. I have a mission for you, a secret mission, super important. Probably the most important of them all. What is it? Could you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah. It's at my house. The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool. Bueno, vámonos. Bueno, por lo menos ahora... Ah, importante es capturar... Eh... Capturar, no. Recoger las armas de los exterminadores. Porque nos da munición y no y si la capturamos al arma, ¿no es cierto? Más adelante la podemos usar. Y si no la usamos, la podemos vender y dan mucha plata por las armas esas. Aparte usar la misma munición, munición de plasma, así que. Rivers, are you receiving me? I am. Good. I marked vantage points on your map. Use them to take pictures of the Skynet installations. And although this is a recon mission, you have clearance to engage at will. Over and out. Bueno. Ahí está. Bueno, tenemos para guardar ahí, perfecto, porque cuando no te deja guardar es jodidísimo. Esta arma tendríamos que dejarla para los determinadores, eh. E ir con esta.
acá no hay salida. Está tirando, ah, de atrás. Sacar foto es con la E. del botiquín hackear <coughs> cosa que nos dé de... cositas lindas está perfecto Bueno, los cajones estos para hackearlos están buenísimos Porque nos dan un montón de cositas por allá con esta arma no le tenemos miedo a los a los exterminadores detectado 
perfecto. Tengo que sacar una foto el cabrón. <coughs> Está localizado, estamos en foto. Ahí está el otro. Todo lo que veamos le vamos a sacar fotos. Uy, uh, lo teníamos cerquita. Ha <laughs> 
Bueno, estamos cerquita de un objetivo. Un jodido exterminador ahí. Cabrones, así me marcaba. Habilidades de hackeo es demasiado bajo. Habilidades. Tu, tu, tu. Explosivo, sigilo, ciencia. Hackeo. Hackeo nivel 1. Activar. Aceptar. Hackeo nivel 2. Activar. No tenemos punto. Maldita sea. Ahora sí. Ahora se complica, miren que difícil que está ahora. Opa. No, no. No. Ah. Perfecto. Bueno, ya vienen dos determinadores más y yo acá... Si vuelvo para atrás, a ver. Me marcaba. Me marcaba un punto chiquito. Vamos a mapa. Saquear el camión. Punto de guardado, puerta cerrada. Esto es volver a Pasadena. Vamos a marcar eso. para guardar la partida chicos ¿eh?
contenedor de plasma de Skynet. Punto de guardado. Punto de guardado. Pero, ¿por qué no me lo marcó? Cerrada por el otro lado. Ah, perfecto. que haga algún exterminador por acá ¿eh? Estoy perdido, la puta madre que lo parió. Acá está el punto de guardado. Bueno. Bueno. Lo vamos a dejar por aquí nomás chicos. Y ya nos dedicamos de lleno para el próximo episodio. De lo que va a ser las misiones que tenemos que hacer por estos lares. Así que nos vemos. Hasta la próxima.